hey guys welcome back to the daily departure i am just doing another quarantine vlog today for those of you new here i am a chicago-based flight attendant and i make flight attendant travel and lifestyle videos it's pretty late in the afternoon actually i just finished getting ready for the day and i am going to go to the grocery store in a little bit because it's just kind of time to restock on some items and do some grocery shopping so i'm going to show you what i am getting from the grocery store and what I like to buy during quarantine, especially because I definitely purchase items differently because I am going to be home so much more and I have been home so much more. So I definitely have been grocery shopping differently now versus like pre-quarantine and when I was actually flying all the time. Today, I'm hoping that I can maybe get some more fruits and vegetables because I will actually be here to use them. So that's kind of one of the perks of being home but it's just a really crappy day outside. It's rain, forecast for rain all day, and it's just pretty sucky. I'm pretty sure it's like 80 to 90% chance of rain throughout the rest of the day, so I just have to go now whether it's raining or not because it's been raining all day, and um, I'll show you what it looks like outside. This is what it looks like outside, and it's just, you can see cloudy all throughout here. It's just really nasty looking. Usually you can see the skyline over there, some of those iconic Chicago buildings. But yeah, I usually keep my window open when it's raining because I like the sound of the rain in the city and the cars. I just love the sound of a city. It's just so fascinating to me. I don't have too many other things planned for the rest of the evening. I think I'm gonna work out at some point. Today is our cardio day because we've been doing the bikini body guide. So yesterday we did whole body for bikini body guide and then today's like your off day from their programming and it's just um, cardio, which it's kind of a bummer that's raining because we've kind of been trying to get into running a little bit more. So I kind of wanted to go for a run today, but unfortunately, again, downpouring of the rain so I won't be able to do that. I also finished finally uploading a video on YouTube. This is one I've been working on for a couple days and I basically did a hot ones hot sauce challenge with some flight attendant burning questions and it's pretty entertaining. You definitely have to check that out. Make sure you watch it until the end because that's when it gets really intense with the super hot sauces and I had a lot of fun filming it and editing it. It's a pretty entertaining video so I hope you guys enjoy that and also I'm answering some burning questions, flight attendant questions. You know, you probably want to hear those. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to wait for my boyfriend to get ready and then we're gonna go to the grocery store he's just sitting reserve at my apartment today so he's gonna go with me and um, usually he gets used a lot on reserve but because there's a lack of flying right now he definitely has been getting used a lot less minus his 57 hour layover that he had in um, actually my hometown which is kind of funny but that's what he had a couple weeks ago so other than that he hasn't been flying and he had paid vacation so he was down home in Florida for a good chunk of last week because he was just literally off from work so he was at home and yeah so I will see you later after I come back from the store hey guys I'm back from the grocery store and the rain and humidity totally just devoured my hair while out there but I'm gonna show you what we got on our little grocery store haul my boyfriend came with me so we got some things for him as well some pasta this is one of our like staple dishes and the box is already wet so i'm gonna have to take this out pretty soon because right there you can see the box is wet but we love this tricolor pasta i haven't tried this brand before but usually we make like a tricolored pasta dish which is really good then i got a bunch of frozen things and a bunch of things that i've never had before too because they had a sale on a lot of their vegan like meat alternatives so the first thing i got was this morning star farms one and it's a cheeseburger so basically it's vegan hamburger patty with cheese already in it so i'm kind of excited about this it looks really good my other favorite brand is the Gardein brand i got the teriyaki chicken strips this is my favorite i love to make this with the trader joe's rice just a meatless chicken strip i for some reason haven't noticed these in the store when i've gone there other times but the meatless chicken strips these are pretty good because they're neutral and you can add whatever sauces to them basically like the same product in here but this one comes with a sauce and then I got the sizzling Szechuan beefless strips and these are pretty good too. They're pretty legit. I like these a lot. And then my boyfriend wanted to try a Mediter Mediterranean quinoa blend. So there's 
that one he got, even though I usually make like a Mediterranean couscous from what I buy from Aldi, but I didn't go to Aldi today because it's raining and it's a much farther walk. Power bowls, he got a beef and broccoli, got a beef bulgogi bowl. He does eat meat, big meat eater, so this is usually what he gets in Korean style. Um, fried chicken, it's a lot of frozen meals. And then he also got this chicken show you ramen, which this one actually looks pretty good. And then this Mediterranean style chicken bowl, which is a favorite of his. Okay, this is Wabao. We love this restaurant. They sell the frozen baos that they actually usually steam in the store and you can buy them. They sell them frozen at the store we go to. So he likes to get those. It's just a snack and they smell so gross, but they smell really good. And then I got a frozen meal bowl, which is like one of the first times I feel like I've gotten a frozen meal. I usually just buy like, the frozen meats, but I got the teriyaki chicken bowl, so this looks pretty good. I might actually eat this in a little bit because I'm pretty hungry. A couple more frozen items before I put them all away because it's like about a five or six minute walk to our grocery store, so I want to get these in the freezer and then I'll show you everything else we got. But I got my one guilty pleasure, like don't hate on me for getting these, but also I feel a lot better about getting these because I am in like a flight attendant foodie page and someone was saying like, what's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> for food and this is something i like recently got into a couple months ago but i love to get pizza rolls like i know they're so bad for you but sometimes you just want a little pizza and you just don't even want a whole pizza you just want like a bite of a pizza so you can have like a roll or two and it's so satisfying and surprisingly the first round of times we went to the grocery store for, during quarantine they were always out of these so i'm not the only person that is obsessed with them apparently everyone else like stocked up on them and then got some frozen corn because this is a staple item in our freezer and they have not had in stock like the big bags of them because i guess people have been buying it it's like the one thing in their frozen vegetable section that they've been out of so i got the little bag of them and then my last thing i got was the mandarin orange chicken crispy chicken from gardein which is another one of my favorites that they make got everything in the freezer and i'm gonna go over some of my other items that i bought so i got some carrots and i actually got the whole carrots this time i like to just roast my carrots it's a nice little snack to have during quarantine it's nice to kind of avoid like chips and stuff so we try to keep carrots on hand so we can roast those i also got some more barbecue because i'm running low on it and i got these stubs original which is one that my sister had on hand and i tried it and it was so good so i needed to get that this time the nice thing about this is also that there's no high fructose corn syrup in it which is something that i like to avoid with my ketchups and barbecues and sauces, all that type of stuff. I got some liquid smoke because I'm gonna be making some um, homemade like seitan steaks. And so this is a nice little flavor profile to throw in that. Yeah, that's something I'm also going to be making for part of my quarantine cooking. I'm going to be making a dish from Portugal. So that steak that I'm making is part of the dish and I wanted to make it homemade because Again, I am a vegetarian, so I eat a lot of meat alternatives, and I'm going to be making the steak for that recipe, so be on the lookout for that. Also check out some of my other quarantine cooking videos that I have made so far. I stocked up on some more coconut milk, and these were the only cans of coconut milk I could find. It was the light coconut milk, but these are just great to have on hand. I usually like to have coconut milk on hand regardless because it is a great ingredient to use for cooking and i like to use these in ramen which is why i bought this and also i just discovered this new like coconut golden potato recipe that is so good and so i wanted to get another one of those just in case i wanted to make that recipe again and then as i mentioned before i wanted to get some fresh fruits so i got some oranges at the store but yeah i got some oranges at the store they are absolutely huge and a couple months ago we were stocking up on oranges from phoenix because my parents have a house down there and there is a it's back stuck in my finger there's an orange tree that we can go pick from in my grandma's backyard so we don't have any more of those because we haven't been flying to phoenix which is a bummer but i've been really craving some oranges so i got those at the store and then i also got strawberries these were on sale for three dollars for the two of them so i thought that was a pretty good deal on some strawberries and just look at how huge those strawberries are i mean let me crack one of these open and hold it up because they are so big okay the strawberry is massive look at that it's nice to have some more fresh fruits and vegetables on hand because 
I actually can eat them and they keep well because I'm home multiple days in a row unlike when I'm usually flying. I picked up these um, roasted peppers in a jar. I've actually never bought these before. This isn't something that I usually buy but I saw them and I was like oh, I should get those because I can probably add these to a lot of dishes and it's nice again flavor to add to some dishes or salads so i'm kind of excited about this i think this might be a staple item that i keep up with buying as the time goes on and then last three items i got this like big family pack of mac and cheese because again nice to have just kind of those like unhealthy food options on hand when you're just craving something unhealthy um, another item i bought was this field roast hand formed field burger and I've never bought this product before. I obviously buy a lot of meat alternatives, and this is one that you get to farm yourself, but I bought this because I think I'm going to use this as part of an ingredient for my quarantine cooking video, same one that I bought the liquid smoke for. So I think I'm gonna try this out and see how that goes. And last item I bought is my shale snacks. These are one of my favorite like nut mixes. These are so good. And this is the pomegranate vanilla flavored cashews. I absolutely love these. They're so good. And cashews, like one of my favorite nuts. So these are definitely one of those items that when I buy, I can't stop eating it. And I eat the bag in like one day, which is really bad, but I've been craving these for the past like three weeks. So I finally saw them at the store because I never really realized where, like where they were in the store before, what select, what section of the store they were in. And I saw them and I was like, yes, I've been wanting to buy these every time I come here, but I never see them. So I kind of forget about them and I never put them on my shopping list for some reason. And so when I get home, I'm like, oh, why didn't I buy those? So this time I actually have these and I'm super excited about it. But yeah, this was just kind of a nice little food haul. I usually like to shop the bulk of my items at Trader Joe's and Aldi, but sometimes it's hard to get to those places in the city because we don't have a car. So we either Uber there or walk to some of the places. And one of the Aldi's that we started going to is kind of far. It's like a 15, 20 minute walk and it's raining. So I didn't want to walk that far so I did my run to the grocery store that's close to our house so I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I buy uh, for groceries you know some of these are stable items and some of them are items that I just kind of picked out today and wanted to try out especially some of them are on sale so it's nice to try out different items when they're on sale okay so I decided to make this teriyaki chicken bowl for some food I wouldn't even consider it lunch it's more like dinner time but also not my real dinner time because I woke up late um but I usually don't like to have like full frozen meals like this I usually like to go cook on my own but again it looked so good so I'm gonna try it out it's like a good amount of sauce on it should we see if it's boyfriend approved would you like to try some of this he says no <laughs> okay this is my uh my tv dinner tray but I definitely I can't remember how much this was Honestly, I probably would rather just, again, why I don't make frozen meals is because the amount of chicken little strips in this is like a third of probably what comes in like the big packages and then there's a little bit of rice. I would rather pay the same amount and get a lot more of these and just make my own rice. For those of you that like to get your nails done with gel normally, I am just working on removing my gel polish right now because I do at home gel. So. I am going to work out and then I'm going to soak my nails in some acetone to get off this nail polish that I have on and then I'm going to do my own gel manicure at home. I will leave down in the description below the gel polish kit that we have. It's from Amazon and my sister actually bought it but I use it and it's a really good deal because I think she maybe spent like $80 in total on the kit and the polish. We've done probably like four or five manicures with it and that is already like getting its money's worth and she does her nails with it too. So this is kind of the old manicure that I had done with it but it saves a lot of money if you're willing to put in the work and paint your nails. Especially during like quarantine and stuff right now when nail salons aren't open you can still have some nice gel nails at home. It is kind of a pain to get them off but it's so worth it. I like to do it because it saves money and it's pretty entertaining. I do miss like painting my nails and stuff even when I used to get them done at a salon I, I missed painting them so it's kind of a good mix to be able to do your own nails and save money and also like have nails that last more than you know two days because regular nail polish doesn't last very long but these gels last 
probably a month or so I always get a little bit of grow out so I'm gonna finish filing this hand and then I'm going to go work out I think I'm gonna do something cardio something online and then finish my nails and then that's basically what we are gonna do for the day I'll probably have some like actual dinner later hey guys I'm back it's way later in the night and I worked out got ready for bed in my jammies and I've been working on my nails I am almost done with them I have my little setup going over here and I finally have my third coat of red polish on these so I'm gonna do a top coat and then I am all done this is my setup I've got going on here I got my base coat top coat my red polish and this is the light it's got some different light settings on the back we're also watching married at first sight if you need a good show to watch there's one season on Netflix and a most of the seasons are on Hulu. It's a lot better than you would think it is. If you liked Love is Blind, Married at First Sight is super similar to it, so you definitely should check that out. After we finish watching that, I am going to bed, so I'm going to sign off from my vlog today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, seeing me do a food haul today of what I got at the grocery store. And before you click out of the video, make sure to subscribe to The Daily Departure and also hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I'm posting new videos. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy in quarantine. I will see you next time on The Daily Departure.